Hi, everybody, and welcome to yet another season of Off the Cuff Healthy Cooking with Craig Mitchell. Now, this year, you're going to find some changes and some upgrades. All good. Some of them technically, and some of them aesthetically. <laughs> I wonder what he means. But the mission does stay the same. I'm going to bring you lower calorie, lower carb foods made from your favorite comfort foods and desserts that are irresistible and easy to make. So to start off with, I'm using a recipe that I've been actually been using the past two months. It's very, very easy and it's delicious. Now for me, sometimes after dinner, I get that craving for something sweet. I want something sweet. Where am I going to get it? And anything I can think of will push me off my plan. These will not. And guess what? They're cookies. Did someone say cookies? Cookie creature. You said cookies, didn't you? Yep. I'm starting the season off on a sweet note. I love cookies. All oh, cookies. Great. You're going to love these. These are sugar-free, low-carb peanut butter cookies. Well, not all cookies. See ya. Wait, 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 wait. They have to be sugar-free and low-carb because I'm a type 2 diabetic. Well, I'm a type 2 diabetic too, but I love cookies. Do you know your A1C? Um, sure. A1, C, D, E, No, 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 F, not your ABCs. Your A, one, C. Um, no. What's that? Well, that's a 90 day look into your blood sugar to see how well your body's dealing with your type two diabetes. Oh, come on. I just want cookies. I could have a few. Yeah, well, yeah, what's a few? Oh, one or two. Fine. Dozen. Stop. <laughs> Cookie, I want you to be healthy and happy. These cookies are going to be amazing. You won't even be able to tell they're low carb or sugar free. Well, I'm pretty sure the cardboard case will give it away. Stop. I'm going to be healthy, but not happy. Cookie, have I ever let you down before? Well, you lost my brother in the dryer. Trust me. These cookies are going to be so good, it'll knock your sock off. <gasps> No, 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 Cook, cookie, cookie, no, 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 cookie. It was just an expression. <sighs> Here are the ingredients. All righty, here's what we need to make our low-carb, sugar-free peanut butter cookies. One cup of almond flour. One half cup peanut butter, any brand you like. One third of a cup of urethritol. Two tablespoons peanut flour. One tablespoon coconut oil, melted. Three quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. And one half teaspoon each of vanilla extract and xanthan gum. Also, don't forget a pinch of salt to taste. Those are the ingredients. One thing I left out of the ingredients, well, it wasn't an ingredient, it was a method. Now, I did say to make sure that your coconut oil is melted. Yep. But I find it also works really good if you melt your peanut butter in the microwave first. That way it blends in and actually mixes with the cookie batter a lot easier. So melt this puppy. We start off with our almond flour. The urethritol. Mix it up. Well, get it all in first. When it's slumpy like that, what I like to do is take a whisker and just blend it in more. Break up some of those lumps. Because we don't want lumpy urethritol or lumpy cookies. That took about three hours. Actually, to be honest, I put it in the food processor. It was a lot easier. Okay, so that's done. Now let's put in our melted our pre-melted peanut butter. Get that all in there. That is hot. And I'll start incorporating it. Incorporation. That's looking good. Now the coconut oil. The vanilla essence. This turns into a cookie batter rather quickly. Now, the reason why I came up with the idea for the peanut flour is because sometimes this was too loose. 
and the peanut flour help bind it into a better uh, uh, cookie dough. So use this as you see fit. You don't have to use all of it. Sometimes you don't even have to use it, but I really like the flavor it gives. Okay, now this is clearly done. Now take some parchment paper, place it on your surface, and put your cookie dough on the parchment paper. This will help it not stick. There's a nice, healthy plop. Now this will make six to eight cookies. And what I like to do is I like to make sure all the cookies are the same size. So that way we can figure out exactly what the calories are and, and the carbs, you know, just for good form. I have a scale here. 11.5 ounces. Now, if I want to make eight cookies, eight goes into 11.5, carry the one. Okay, I figured it out already. It's actually 1.4, one or two um, uh, ounces per cookie. So I'm going to weigh it and put it on this cookie sheet. That's one. You don't want to make them too flat. Like I said, 1.4 ounces each. So I'm also going to do something in today's show I've never done before. I'm going to use the oven and the air fryer because you can make these cookies either way. That way, depending on your needs or your haves, if you have an air fryer, you can do it that way. If you have a stove, you can do it that way. Or you can do it both, like I'm about to right now. As far as decorating, I take a fork, one, and just put some impressions on the top like that. And if you want, you can even go the other way too. So now we have decorated low carb peanut butter cookies. Now we're gonna take these to their respective ovens. Okay, I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. I have my oven cookies. We put them in. 10 minutes. So the timer is going to be for 10, 10 minutes. Now to the air fryer. Walk this way. All right, now air fryers typically are faster than the oven, but the temperature is going to be the same. So we put our air fryer cookies into the air fryer. And we're going to do this for at three, 350 degrees for eight minutes. Okay, the oven's gonna finish first. This is gonna finish second. I don't know who's gonna show. Nobody knows. The oven cookies are ready. The air fryer cookies are ready. Now, possibly the most important part of doing these cookies is letting them cool. For the first 10 minutes, we let them cool right on the sheets that they cooked in. Then after that, 10 more minutes on the rack. So here is the first 10 minutes and Go. Okay, so they've cooled for the first 10 minutes. Now I put up these racks, as you can see, and we let them cool on these racks for another 10 minutes. Got to be careful because they can uh, fall apart easily at this point. Just be gentle, don't be in a rush. All right, 10 more minutes and they'll be ready to eat. Ah. Well, what did I tell you? Low carb, sugar-free, peanut butter cookies and i'm telling you you will not be able to tell these are low carb or sugar free i've been making these for about two months and i have two at night when i get that craving it's guilt free and saves me the carbs now the peanut butter i used for these was jiff you can use whatever you want you can use a no sugar uh, added peanut butter or any other brand you want it's up to you these are great for snacks they're great for pick-me-ups. It's great when the kids come home from school and you don't want them loading up on carbs. There you go. But mostly for me, 
it saves me from running down to the convenience store and buying something unhealthy. So, here we go. So peanutty. Mm. The peanut flavor is everywhere. Very rich, very sweet. I really think the peanut flour adds texture and that peanut flavor. It's really wonderful. I'm telling you, these are terrific. You're gonna love it. It's a great way to start a season. These will satisfy the cookie creature and all of us. Well, that's it for this time around. I'm back here again in about two weeks with another recipe. Until then, be well, eat good.